news. Joining us now is OJ Okpe with stories trending around the world. Hello, OJ. Good morning. Good morning, morning OJ. <laughs> good morning, Dr. Abati. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. All right. Well, let's begin in Nigeria with a story that has been trending on social media. Former governor of AKT State, Ayodele Fayoshe, on Thursday reacted to a report alleging that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, picked up the immediate past governor of Imo State, Rochas Okorocha, and his wife, Nkechi. Fayoshe asked Mr. Okorocha, as well as the ex-governor of Ogun State, Ibukunle Amosun, to surrender themselves to the anti-graft agency and welcome both men to the EFCC Alumni Club. In the tweet, Fayose wrote, just reading that Okorocha was arrested by EFCC. True. Um, <laughs> I, however, I welcome him to the EFCC alumni and enjoin the commission not to look away from Amosun too. While I encourage them to surrender themselves as I did, I welcome Okorocha to the club. <laughs> and then, you know, one Twitter user posted a WhatsApp group chat called the EFCC alumni group, which also <laughs> included Babache Lawal. This image has made a hilarious round on social media. I want to know if Fayoshe is going to send them T-shirts. Because remember his own style statement? We should send them the T-shirt. Uh, I thought I it was very cute and funny. What he's trying to say, basically, is that he shouldn't be only uh, former chieftains of the uh, PDP, PDP yeah. or governors associated with mm -hmm. the PDP right. that should be targeted by the Economic and Financial Crimes Correct. Commission. Yeah. Uh, that those who graduated from the APC as governors, too, should be subjected to scrutiny. Mm -hmm. And you know that uh, former Governor Rocha Sokorocha and uh, Governor Ibukunle Amosu of Ogun State, uh, they've been very controversial. They were suspended. Yes, so, uh, it, but it's not, uh, you know, uh, Governor Yofayoshi that would define the job of the EFCC for it. You know, yeah. the EFCC as a, a body, you know, has its own rules, has its own way of going about things, but yeah. it's just trying to make that point, yes. that, you know, APC governors should also be targeted. Exactly, but Fire also the fact that he's that saying, point. you know, just go and surround, surrender yourself like I did will make your life easy. I thought that was really funny. Well, yeah. still here in Nigeria, the governor of Cross River State, Professor Ben, ben Ayode, has won Ayode. the hearts of many in the state as well, and he, as he declared the deputy, will run the state as acting governor throughout his second term. He said this while delivering his inaugural address on Wednesday and left the people in awe when he stepped out dancing the shaku shaku. Let's take a look. Dr. Abati, I've always challenged you to dance the cha shaku shaku. Dr. Abati, you haven't done that. What's time. happening? Look, a governor no, is dancing no, the shaku shaku. You have to do that I, I can't to dance shaku shaku on television. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the only person around town who cannot dance shaku shaku. But I mean, he's, you he's, know, a good he's sport, such a he? good sport. The yeah. fact that you know he came out to actually even declare that the ex governor, the, uh, his deputy, will take charge. I thought that was really nice. Everyone in um, Cross River States really applauded him for his move and you know he's really been uh, well, he's probably trying to position his uh, deputy as his successor yes which is something that is not very common around here yes and he says he will leave Calabar he will spend more time in Ecom correct uh, he's from Ecom local government uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, northern cross river uh, part of the state but right. there were also comments about his dressing which was quite uh, casual. unusual, Very rather casual, his you know. Yes. And uh, he had and to, his, wife. his wife also <laughs> dressed like that, and everybody thought he just took the things so casually, yes. you know. Whereas like in other way. places, you know, there will be a specially designed, oh, yeah. you know, it will be a show of fashion. You know, but I know. hope he has better luck if he actually succeeds in ensuring his deputy replaces him. I hope he has better luck than Rabbi Kwan Kwaso and his deputy, as well, he then was. It depends on the relationship disaster. between them. And you can never tell till that person uh, is in the sea. So then uh, you'll know your real relationship. And what they are able to do for yeah. the people of Cross River State. Right. right. He's bringing positive energy into his state. He to really is. Right. We had one more story on entertainment, but I don't think we have much time to do that. Unfortunately, we yes. have to go. Well, you guys have a fantastic weekend. Yes, yeah. you too. Yeah. Yeah. It's Friday. Yes, it is Friday. 
Yeah, that's, that's, all, <laughs> that's all on this segment of the morning show. We'll take a short break now. When the morning show returns, Rufai Oseni and Adesua Amoran will be here to take you through the rest of the show. Stay with us.